Hi, I'm Julie. This is my mom, Biz. And our family decided to come forward and share a story with our fellow citizens regarding Congresswoman Judy Biggert. We're very concerned and upset about the mistruths that are being spoken about Congresswoman Judy Biggert, especially in respect to elderly and Social Security benefits. My mom is an American citizen and she has worked all her life. She's been a tax-paying citizen and she votes and she is a hard-working person who is trying to enjoy her retirement. She would not have her Social Security benefits today if it wasn't for Congresswoman Judy Biggert. And that's what we'd like to share with you. Our family has been taken out of her district, so we cannot vote for Congresswoman Judy Biggert. However, she has our support because of the help that she has given us, especially my mother. My mom does not live in Judy's district either. And when this all happened, she lives in her home in Burbank. And this was a long process, a three year process. And we'd like to share that story with you. This story is the absolute truth of what Congresswoman Judy Biggert stands for and what she does every day working for the people of this state. Mom, would you like to tell us a little bit about what happened? Okay, this started when I applied for my Social Security and I was refused because they were told me that I was an American citizen. Although my mom was born and raised here in the United States, that still didn't make a difference to them because I wasn't, I didn't have my regular birth certificate with the insignia on it from the Philippine Islands. I had a copy with all the witnesses and they told, and on the bottom of this copy, it states that all buildings were destroyed during the war. They still would not accept this. So I had I didn't know where to go, so I made copies of all my mom's birth certificate, my dad's, mine, and I also had a driver's license, a voter's card, a social security card, and you don't get that unless you're a citizen, or is there a double uh, reason for this? I would like to know. If that doesn't prove who I am, then what can I do about this? I, my mom isn't here anymore. So what can I do about this? So I s made my copies up and I, s I went to uh, my, my representative Rupinski and he had it for a while. I called him up and he still could, he said he couldn't do that much about it. So I just said, okay, so it, he didn't help me with anything. And then we tried again. So then I called him again and I tried and he still told me the same thing. He need there was something else that was needed. I said, okay, fine. You're the rep my representative. I don't know how to do it and you do. And this is why I'm going to you because I don't know how to do it and you're there to help me. And he says, well, right now, he says, I don't know what I can do for you. I said, okay, fine. So that was, you know, that was it. I didn't know where to turn, where to go, what to do, okay? So I made up all these copies of everything. I sent it to the President of the United States. I sent it to all the TV stations. I sent it to Mayor Daly. I got one answer, and it was her Mary Daly's secretary. And she told me that although they had proof I would lived in Chicago, I worked in Chicago, I got married in Chicago, raised my kids in Chicago, and went to school in Chicago. All those records were available and I had them. But Chicago wasn't my hometown. I was in Burbank. 
So Burbank had to take over what I needed and they, she apologized and I said, and she said to me, if you need any more information as far as your residence here in Chicago, let me know. I said, fine, thank you. And she was the only one that even acknowledged me sending anything. So I'm running around trying to find, I'm still looking, you know, to find something. I couldn't. So then my daughter suggested Congresswoman Duty Biggert. And I said, I'm not in her, I'm not, I don't live here. I'm not in her district. I don't think she can help me and she Julie said let me call her so Julie called her and she agreed to it and fine I got all my records and everything together and Julie brought them to her and she looked them over and I don't know how she did it but I owe my getting my Social Security to her because she didn't have to do a thing for me she could have just said, no, she's out of the district. I don't have to do anything. But she went ahead and took the time to do everything. And I am so grateful to her because if it was not for Congressman Judy Biggert, I would not have my Social Security today because nobody else would help me. And that's not... And, if anybody wants to know what kind of a woman this lady is, you got the story right here. Because for, without her, I would never have my Social Security, and I'm very thankful to her. Congresswoman Judy Biggert, I want, also wanted to add, in the three-year quest that it took us mm -hmm. to get these benefits, she had to help my mother get a passport before she could ever get her Social Security benefits um, uh, established. She, her staff indicated to me that they had to work with Homeland Security because mom came over to this country on a battleship and came, actually her family was brought to a base in California when they were evacuated oh, can I say something during about the war. That too? I need to say something about that. About yes. the battleship. Okay. Now you would think the United States, okay, would have a copy or a picture or, or a sign of the, U, the U.S. Go, uh, forces getting on the ship to come home. This is the ship my mom and I came home, you know, came to the United States on, okay? What was the name of Okay, I asked for them to look for the ship because I couldn't remember the name. They told me they could not find it. There was no record of this ship. I said, excuse me, the American troops were coming home on this ship. How could you not have a copy? They said, well, we don't even have you in the system. And I said, you don't have me in the system? I said, well, tell me something. I'm on Social Security and everything. And you're taking taxes from me every day, then who am I if I'm not who I am when you take my taxes away from me? So because of the... They had no answer. Because of these issues, Congresswoman Judy Biggert's staff helped us get a passport for my mother with a um, birth certificate that we received from the Philippines after quite a bit of work. Um, once we got the passport, we had to reapply for her Social Security benefits again. That was probably the third time. And then my mother was eventually, mom eventually received her benefits. It was a long, long process. And it was, very, we could have never done it without the assistance of her and her staff. So for that reason, we would like everyone out there to take these facts and consider these when you hear the message from the other campaign that Judy Biggert is going to take away Social Security benefits. That is not true. And we are asking you to consider this if this was your mother or your mom or your dad, how would you feel? Please 
support Congresswoman Judy Bigger. She has worked hard and she deserves to continue working hard for the people in Illinois. Thank you.